Okay, today we are going to learn what is SOHCAHTOA. It's a little mnemonic that we're going to learn to help us to determine which trigonometric ratio is appropriate for a specific problem. Now the word trigonometric is kind of a big word. We are a lot of times going to instead just say trig. We're going to call them trig ratios and that's just short for trigonometric. Uh, trigonom trigonometry is actually the study of right triangles. So knowing that, let's look here at a right triangle. Um, introduce here, we've got this little funny symbol here which is called theta. Um, and it is an angle, angle theta. Uh, I could have put that up here. In fact, we're going to do that in just a minute. But um, any of the angles can be called theta. We can, we've got a lot of different uh, letters. These are the Greek letters um, that we use for angles when we do trigonometry. So notice it is an angle and it's not one of the sides. Okay, so looking here, um, we've got three new, uh, these are Trig trigonometric ratios. The trig ratios, the basic ones that we're going to talk about today are sine, cosine, and tangent. So it's sine, cosine, and tangent. That's their official names. And for short, we, lay, we call it, S, we, we write it as S-I-N, but we don't say sin theta or cos theta or tan theta. We still say sine theta, cosine theta, and tangent theta, we use the, we, but we write it this way to make it simpler. So having said that, let's get back to what do they mean and what does SOHCAHTOA mean? Well, these are ratios. It doesn't look like a ratio. A ratio is supposed to be one thing over another. So we need to figure out what are the things that are going to be sine theta is going to be equal to something over something else. So when I want to know what that is, that's what I need that mnemonic for. That so ka toa. Okay, and you got to remember how to spell these, or these, it doesn't work. No, it's not. It's not. Doesn't work. It's no good if. Uh, if you can't remember how to spell SOHCAHTOA. So notice here we've got an S in SO for sine and we've got a C in CA for cosine and we've got a T in TOA for tangent. And then it's going to be that the O and the H are going to be here and here. So O and H and this is going to be A and H and this is going to be O and A. So let's just figure out what is O, what is A, what is H. Um, and it's not, when I say A, I don't want you to be confused here. It doesn't mean this A over here. So looking at this, O relative to theta, O stands for opposite. Opposite. We want to know what is the side that is opposite this theta. So O stands for opposite. H, on the other hand, stands for hypotenuse. Okay, hypotenuse. Okay, here, ka, the A stands for adjacent. Adjacent is just a fancy word meaning next to. So the leg, and the adjacent is always the leg because it can't be the hypotenuse, okay? So cosine is the adjacent. It's the ratio of the adjacent side over H again is the hypotenuse. And then TOA, tangent, is the opposite over the adjacent. So we have, and yes, if you can hear that, that's my kids in the background. Uh, so adjacent here. And we're going to use these to help us solve problems. Problems where we are given an angle and one of the sides and we need to find another side, okay? That's when we use that. Remember we use the Pythagorean theorem when we are going to use when we have two sides and we need to figure out the third side. But when I need when I'm given an angle and a side and I need to figure out an other side, that's when I use SOHCAHTOA, sine, cosine, and or tangent. Okay. 
So looking at this same problem, I could, if I wanted to, decide to move, and let's make this theta for this problem, okay? Doesn't change anything except for my reference point. Now, instead of A being the opposite side, now A is the adjacent side. And B is my opposite side. And C is my hypotenuse. So if I was actually going to, instead of writing adjacent, hypotenuse, and opposite, if I was going to actually write the, these letters, A, B, and C, um, in its place, what would I write? Okay, I've got sine, that's so. So S, O, and H, my opposite side from theta, my opposite side is B. Okay, so actually I shouldn't have written that there. I'm going to erase that because that's just going to confuse us. My opposite side is B, and my hypotenuse side is C. Oh, goodness, I'm goofing up right and left here. Okay, and then here for cosine, cosine equals ka adjacent over hypotenuse. So my adjacent is A and my hypotenuse is C. And the tangent, tangent equals opposite over adjacent, toa. Opposite is B, the adjacent is A. So if I had numbers in one of these places, uh, and then I had this angle, that's how I would set up an equation that I could then solve. Let's look at that. Okay, so here I have an example problem. I have this angle here. This is my theta. So I need to know what ratio do I use if I know this is my angle, this is the side I know, and this is the side I want to know. What I have to do is I have to identify. Obviously, because this is across from the right angle, this is going to be my hypotenuse. So I'm definitely going to want one of the uh, ones that uses the, has the H in it. So either so or ka. So again, I've got so, ka, toa. So because I'm using H, I've got a hypotenuse here, I know that toa is not going to be the one I'm using. So I need to identify Compared to this angle, where is this 7? Seven? 7 is the adjacent side, okay? Because again, this is the opposite. I don't know anything about the opposite, so the opposite can't help me. So I want to use the trigonometric ratio that has the A and the H. That means I'm going to use cosine. So I would just write an equation that looks like this cosine of 35, or I could make that shorter. I could just write cosine of 35 equals the adjacent is 7, and the hypotenuse I don't know is C. And now I have one equation, and I have one unknown, and we'll learn about tomorrow how do we actually get a number for that. Um, but I've got one equation and one unknown. I can solve that. So that's basically how we use SOKATOA to figure out what, of which one of the trigonometric ratios I want to use when I've got a problem. Let's see, do I have, oh, I don't have one any more problems, so let me make one up here. Let's make one more up. Okay, let me get a triangle. This triangle's going to look just like the other one, but that's okay. And this time let's, um, let's, use this angle. I'm going to call that a 56 degree angle. And let's say you knew this side was 12 and you didn't know what this side was. We'll call this x. Which trigonometric ratio would we use? Okay, here's my angle. That's the first thing. Where's my angle? Identify where your angle is and then figure out which sides you have. So we've got the opposite over here. So I want one of them that has an O in it. And here, this one is 
the adjacent side. Here's my hypotenuse. I don't know my hypotenuse, so it can't help me. So I need the trigonometric uh, function or a ratio that uses O and A. So out of so, ka, toa, the one that has an O and an A is toa. So I want to say the tangent of 56 degrees is equal to the opposite, which is 12, over the adjacent, which is x. And there I have one equation, one unknown. I can solve that, and we'll learn how to solve that tomorrow. I hope that helps. Thanks a lot.